In the vast expanse of the night sky, countless stars twinkle, each representing a unique cosmic wonder. Among these celestial gems, Alpha Centauri shines brightly, holding the distinction of being our nearest stellar neighbor. Alpha Centauri is a captivating triple star system that has captured the imaginations of astronomers and space enthusiasts for generations. Alpha Centauri is located 4.2 to 4.4 light-years away from the Earth. By any standard, our neighboring solar system is peculiar. Alpha Centauri A, which is around 10 more massive and 50 more bright than our Sun, and Alpha Centauri B, which is the exact opposite and is 10% less massive and 50% dimmer. The third star in the system, Proxima Centauri, is a weak red dwarf that is situated 0.2 light-years away from the other two stars, yet orbits a common center of gravity with them, make up the triple system. These stars may be eccentric, but as the nearest of the estimated 100 billion suns in our galaxy, they hold unique importance for humans. At a distance of 4.2 light-years from Earth, Proxima Centauri is the closest of the three. It has two confirmed planets, one of which is in what is known as the habitable zone, the distance from a star at which one may anticipate temperatures on a planet's surface consistent with the occurrence of liquid water. Though they have not been confirmed, it is thought that the other two stars in the system host planets as well. A potential Neptune-sized planet was suggested to be orbiting Alpha Centauri A in 2021 at a distance similar to that of Earth's orbit around the Sun although this could just be a dust cloud. The probability of terrestrial planets is increased, at least theoretically, by the apparent absence of any brown dwarfs or gas giants close to Alpha Centauri A and B. Therefore, there may be as many as 75 of rocky, potentially livable planets in our neighboring solar system. All of this elevates the Alpha Centauri system to the top of everyone's list of potential alien life search locations. In terms of the planets we have previously discovered, Proxima b, which is somewhat larger than Earth, at least 17% more mass, generated a lot of noise after its discovery in 2016, since it is crucially in the habitable zone. However, it alone does not provide us with sufficient data to determine whether the planet is indeed habitable. Proxima b may be tidally locked which means it always faces the same side of its M-dwarf sun because of how closely it orbits it. Because one side would continue to be scalding hot and the other freezing cold, that is bad for life. It has been suggested that life would still be able to exist on such a globe because the regions at the hemispheric boundaries may have hospitable temperatures. Due of the temperate zone's tiny size and susceptibility to harsh weather patterns, I think this is improbable and there are still more grounds to harbor pessimism regarding life on Proxima b. Proxima Centauri, like other red dwarves, releases potent solar flares and X-ray emissions that would be difficult for any life forms to survive on a planet that is 20 times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. Proxima b may have a magnetic field, but we are unsure if it provides protection. We also don't know if water exists there. A healthy biosphere requires both of those conditions, as well as the availability of organic molecules and the presence of a reliable mechanism for recycling nutrients, such as plate tectonics. In other words, a world cannot support life just by being in the habitable zone. Even though our moon is in a zone where life is possible, it is absolutely barren. And even though Europa and Enceladus are well outside the habitable zone of the sun, it's possible that life exists in their underground oceans. What about the planet that orbits Alpha Centauri A and is the size of Neptune? If it turns out to be true, its size indicates that it might be more like the inhospitable gas giants in our own solar system. The majority of experts agree that 1.5 to 3 Earth masses mark the transitional region between rocky and gaseous worlds. Alpha Centauri A is likely a gas giant because the world it surrounds looks to be between five and seven times the mass of Earth. However, we do not know for sure how big rocky planets can grow. That would be a different scenario if the planet is made mostly of rocky material. 
The consequences of a so-called super-Earth in Alpha Centauri's habitable zone could be fascinating. This kind of planet may be teeming with life, if it were in an orbit similar to Mars. Mars is currently only marginally livable, because it is too tiny and has insufficient internal energy to have retained its original magnetosphere and atmosphere. Mars would have been far more appropriate for life if it had been the size of Earth, or even larger. This is because it is highly likely to have retained its original oceans and dense atmosphere. There isn't a rocky planet in our solar system that is more massive than Earth, but we might find one in the Alpha Centauri system. Even though the prospect of visiting another star may currently seem overly ambitious, this technology actually makes a lot of sense for solar system exploration. We could launch tiny spacecraft as far as the Keeper Belt and the entirely undiscovered Oort Cloud, as well as Venus, Mars, the outer planets, and their moons. Within a few decades, the entire solar system might be off-limits to exploration. Due to its relative closeness to Earth, Alpha Centauri has long been a subject of fascination for interstellar exploration. The possibility of human beings traveling to another star system, however, remains a formidable challenge. The vast distances and the technological hurdles of interstellar travel currently limit such aspirations to the realm of science fiction. Nevertheless, the exploration of Alpha Centauri through unmanned probes and telescopes continues to provide invaluable insights into the universe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.